Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome back to some more Let's Play RimWorld. This is our bloody royalty playthrough where we just recruited a couple new people. We got Griffin and Cameron over here. Oh, one of these is a nudist. Yeah, if Cameron's mood starts to dip, because right now they've got a minus three from, from constraining clothing, um, we can uh, have them run around nude, which will give them, instead of having a minus three, I think they'll end up with like a plus 20. It'll be pretty crazy. Now, the downside is they won't be very well armored, but good God, will it ever be happy people. Are you much into fighting? You've got good melee, but you'd have at least some shooting. See, if they were like strictly non-combative, it would be really convenient to just have them like be nude all the time, because who cares? But oh, are you learning intellectual by watching? That's great. Masterwork end table. This is going to be Zareth's room over here. Can I prioritize just moving this blueprint, please? Zareth is an imp and they have that natural pessimism, so they're always cranky. Uh, this bedroom is currently awful. Hopefully we can improve that relatively soon. Let's get a little concrete under this door. Just to reduce how much dirt might be coming through here. You know what? I'll just preemptively get that home zone too for whenever we can build the path. Oh, we got our statues. So we're going to start installing some of these. Plate armor done. Please research flak armor. Thank you. Um, you know what? I'll just flank this little altar. Seems cool. Although we're, we're hold on. Maybe not there right away for our first one. We're going, we want people to see it because we want people to experience the... Um, the ideological artwork and get good thoughts from that. There we go. Thought about surrounding it, but we'll do something like that. So some people, I think you can meditate at statues. Yes, once the statue is installed, if we place a meditation spot, it should show, show a link to this. Farming work site. Well, I'm not really concerned about that. We still know about a gold site that's undefended and a plasteel site that might be defended. Yeah, there we go. So I'm hoping that since we don't actually have a specific natural meditation thing, I'm actually thinking I'm going to cancel these. because I don't want people walking all the way out here to meditate. Have them meditate in here by the statue, please. And skull spikes, good funeral, disgraceful. So I don't see anything about being happy about our ideological decor, which presumably this is dominating style Buddhist. I mean, it looks like a Buddhist statue. Maybe just the one is enough to stave off a negative debuff. I think it was like showing up as a negative debuff, but with like a zero modifier. So I don't think the um, expectations were that high yet. Corn harvest. I mean, food is fine right now. Oh, look at that. we got our first high explosive shell. Nice. Okay, because we still have a little mech cluster over here, which we're not worried about. We get our zone designations set up such that they uh, they don't wander over there. I guess that would be the other negative about setting up a caravan, because someone either on their way out or on the way back might walk through there and just ruin my day. Have me cursing at my character some more. So yeah, we'll um, we'll accumulate some shells, then build the mortar and then maybe start plunking away at this thing. The ideal really is like a raid shows up and walks through there. That would be that would be lovely. I have over here all oh, monkeys. Yeah, no shortage of monkeys in this area. Did I ever research drug making? I think I did. We have a little bit of panoxic or not panoxin, neutromine, I believe. Uh, uh, there it is. Get that set up. Chaplain can cast abilities again. Wind's in a pretty okay mood. No one needs to be converted. Oh, I can do a festival. There you go. Wait, only thing we're missing out to get the full modifier is max participants. Nothing I can do about that. I think the number of participants expected is based on like the wealth level of the colony. This has gotten, this is getting pretty high. I don't know if I can do anything against that, though. 
Maybe need a, a few more trade things to come by. Oh, you got a wanderer. Life, hello. A child, a four-year-old child. We got no stats, nowhere else to go. Well, we're gonna accept you because rejecting you does make our people unhappy. Where did you spawn? Okay, you're over there, that's fine. No health problems, no traits yet, but yeah, you'd be too young to get that. You're, you're four, so you could have started getting some growth tier already. So we're gonna be a little bit behind, maybe on your education. But all right. And you're just baseliner, yep. Okay, we've got a second kid. It's not entirely what I'm looking for. Now we could sacrifice someone. Now, it's kind of a cold thing to do, but if you have a colonist die, for a certain amount of time, uh, raids will be of lower strength. So if someone's not adding to our base, but the thing is, it's not like life here is garbage. They don't have any negative traits or anything like that, or health problems. They're a blank slate. They're not doing much for us now. They are a good long time in, um, investment, is what kids are. I wonder if I should get a couple of chairs there. Maybe. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tear these down, finally. These are all just normal. That one's awful. I'm gonna deconstruct that as well. We'll move you over there. Fewer trees I have to chop down. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and deconstruct that. <laughs> you constructing this won't really lower my wealth because things that are installed well, I don't know actually and with walls you're you're you some of the if if the furniture's sitting in here it's got its full value if it's installed the value goes down I'm assuming this is still Buddha style yep yeah well I'll go ahead and get one in this room anyway That screen shook. Did something land, or maybe there was an explosion? How'd you die there, Boomlop? Spike trap. Oh, you walked through the spike trap. Yeah. Uh, how annoying is the fire gonna be? Maybe kind of sort of annoying. Let me limit everyone to the home zone. Reset. So they'll go and fight fires over here. But they shouldn't... Yeah. They're not going to walk in there for any reason. Didn't want it to spread over this way, tear down the walls. It is one we have to put out. Even though that's really annoying because it's taking a fair amount of time to do. Okay, good. So I'm going to clear this home area. And I'm going to put everyone back to the work thing. Which is a much better restrictor setup for us. Alright. So I wonder if I should turn this back on to Plasteel and see if we can find some closer. Or, you know what, we should do a, um, do a component hunt. Again, I might leave this off until we deal with this. How are we doing on shells? Still just the two. Oh, there's a third. Why didn't you stack them together? What the hell, man? What's... Why are you being so weird? Black armor done. And right now we're good in power. I'm not feeling the need for batteries or anything like that. We can probably go back to maybe just getting the ground penetrating scanner. It'll give us some options. It'd be nice to mine on our own map. So Zareth, what do you think of your bedroom? Okay, decent. That's despite the fact that this place is exposed. We could build a little bridge there, but I'm not going to bother. This should still be better. We could put some artwork in here too. Next time we get a, a sculpture. Just as an effort. Where's Zareth? Try to keep his moods a little bit better. He's not going to get disturbed sleep anymore, which is good. So for a conversion, three days, we can do another celebration. Life, how, or, sorry, Alita, how old are you? Okay, so you're actually, I guess it's 60 days is a year, right? Okay, so you're half a year away in biological time, but um, the default biotech setting is, I think, quad speed. 
So you're very close to aging up to seven, which will open up new work opportunities and start giving you some traits and getting some skills, which I think is going to be really nice for us. Okay, we're working on food. Okay, and we do even have some packaged survival meals. Yeah, so we can definitely go and take a trip. I want to move some things over here. I mean, maybe... I guess you're fine for now. It's a good spot for a fabrication bench, actually. Although, ideally, we'd want it closer to there. You know what? Maybe we'll put a fabrication bench in this area. Let me do that. All right, we haven't actually researched it yet. Let's do that before the ground penetrating scanner. Okay. All right, crops are cropifying. We don't have a ton of veg. We do have some extra meat still from our hunt. I wonder, because we do have more people. I wonder if I should be planting more food. I feel like we're probably fine. So the forest weather is under effect. We do have the fog. It's not the worst thing in the universe, which is why I'm not panicking about dealing with those mechs. We can just ignore them for now. That's going to be fine. And yeah, accumulate sort of maybe a critical mass of explosive shells. Well, you know what maybe I should do? In case all of a sudden we get a siege, let's get the mortar set up. I don't have enough steel, but we do actually. I think we already have a bunch of it mined outside. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a single wooden shelf to put over there. Yeah, see, we have steel. It just doesn't count in our tally because it's not um it's not in our base. People are sure wow that these recurve bows. And I think there's something wonky with the I wonder if it's not counting the burst shot of the MP or the, the SMG the same way. Maybe I should just be equipping some people manually. That's only normal. Hmm. I'd like to put a much fancier one in Zareth's room. I might put a second one over here just to increase coverage of our ideological art. There we go. Sewer six style surroundings. There we are. Ooh, there's another butcher. Um, yeah, I might put another one in here just to help increase the chance of satisfaction, but I'll wait until we get our fabrication. Okay, go friendly is always nice. I want the fabrication bench to be close enough to this to be within range. So I'm actually thinking we're probably gonna move this lamp. I do that. I don't know if that's gonna be, I guess I could check the, cause it's the same size as this. Yeah, no. I think that's where I had it last time, didn't I? I just realized I'm doing a build copy rather than move. So no, moving it to there is fine. Because then, yeah, I can put a fabrication bench, say, right here. Doesn't block anything. Should be within range of this. Okay. Might look a little dark in the middle. Could put a lamp here or something. I could surround this place with wall lamps too, but... Okay, quest, Aristocat, and Danger. Yeah, I didn't like this. Now, it's possible these raids will come over here and they'll kill each other. But no, this was just two double strength raids. I cannot. I cannot. It would be suicide. Okay. And then over here, got a clear, critical, high explosive shells. That's all I want in that. Stockpile's starting to fill up a little bit. Oh yeah, they can go over here. They definitely don't need to be fridge. Um, but I'm not feeling the need to build the shelves yet. Zareth, pessimism, darkness, slept in the cold. Do you want it much warmer? Minimal com comfortable temperatures plus five. Oh, that's what's going on. So you want it to be 
if 16 is comfortable with everyone else, you want it to be 21, which is what the heaters are set for, but they might occasionally dip a little bit. And especially with the airflow, like in here, it's 22 right now. I'm gonna set all the heaters to 23. Or specifically put a heater in your room and set that one to 23. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this heater into your room so you'll get first crack at the temperature. Plus, if a prisoner goes berserk, we don't want them smashing the heater if we can avoid it. Yeah, maybe the others... I'm gonna reset those back to 21. We're gonna keep this one to 23. Yeah, no slept in the cold. You were disturbed sleep. Ate without a table at some point. Maybe while you were out mining over here. With an animal handler, we're now getting our milk more consistently, which is another like meat product for the purpose of making meals, which is handy. Yeah, I missed that. Okay, that explains. I'm sure there was comments about it. But yeah, it's actually mouse over that. Maximum comfortable temperature is better. Okay. Mad chinchillas. How many are we talking about? I think if we go to wildlife, do we get this symbol? No, I guess not. Just in case, I'm just going to get everyone inside here. I mean, I could put some sort of like other instruction, but I just wanted to make sure no one was randomly wandering somewhere outside the base. Is that it? Yep, okay, good. Now we'll get a little bit of meat and fur from that. Probably not enough fur to make anything with. Masterwork, button down shirt, elephant leather. Ooh, oh, fancy. Griffin's nearly to 10 skill. for more consistent, good uh, sculptures if we can. I did set this one to what, 15, right? Yeah. We could also make gold sculptures, especially if we go and get that gold site. Uh, good artwork. Okay, we're gonna call that good enough to throw into Zareth's room to hopefully bring it up to impressive. If it's just slightly impressive, good enough. Let's try to keep Zareth a little happier. That, I think, was an event that Cassandra can throw at us. And luckily, that was pretty minor. But she might do a back-to-back -back thing. Unless that doesn't count as the major event. But I think with the fact that it's a red dot, it does. How many shells we got oh, ready to go? All right. I think we're going to go and try to take out those mechs. I add in here. Mortar miss radius. There you go. Get a quick glance at who's the most accurate. Looks like it's Turner. For a long time, mortar accuracy was not affected by anything. But it is now. Slightly the weapon skill. I think manipulation, maybe sight. I'm not sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to target the actual mechs, because the expectation here is once we wake these up, then they're going to come and attack us. Oh, reinforcement pod's a little annoying. All right, that is a little more dangerous than I would like. Grab everyone except Turner. So we might get a, another lucky mortar shot or two. We got a combat command ready to go. Got a couple of kids we may or may not want them to be fighting. We'll see. Are you... Oh, you're just targeting this. Okay, well, you know what? It'll suck that we don't get to deconstruct it, but it does split up the raid a little bit, which I think is going to be welcome. It'll be really nice if this Scorcher dies from that. Good. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. Oh, Turner. Um, I'm going to recruit you now. Come to the front. And then we're going to get you to mortar down the uh, 
Inferno turret. Because I don't want to go and melee that. They're arriving at exactly the same time, which is annoying. Because they'll be able to get some shots off, because we can only kill one at a time. I don't think Zareth has got line of sight. There we go. Good stuff. Let me do this. Let me ask Turner to return here, please. Unforbid things. Avocado major break risk. Recreation deprived. I think you'll be fine as soon as you just take care of your needs. You were really hungry. Really bored. We don't need a conversion. Maybe I will have Doc come over here and do a council on avocado. And that turret is awake, so we should be targeting it. But I'll make sure it's explicit. Kill that turret. Nice hit. Hey, okay. good job. Medical treatment needed, Alita. Whoa. Oh my god! I forgot there was still the other one. Oh no, the one that had been slowed down. Run, Alita. Okay, good. It's like, please don't chase Alita. Leading out in three hours. Yeah, we're gonna have to do... Tend without medicine. On recruit. And you've lost a leg. Ah, uh, that is really not good. Dang it. I'm so sorry. I forgot the extra mech. God damn it. Okay, we'll give people a chance to chill. And then we're going to put um, Turner back on the mortar. Dang it. Uh, so, peg legs can be done with just a log. We get that ability immediately. I think we did research prosthetics, yes. Which I believe we build here? No? Oh, it was at the top. Ooh, that takes a lot of material. Well, we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, it hurts my heart though. That takes so much material. Something that didn't need to happen. I just completely forgot there was the extra mechanoid. Shit. Turner, you up? Nope, not yet. You're about to wake up. Then you'll feed yourself. Then I'm just going to put you back on the turret. There you go. Excellent. Uh, maintaining is pretty good, but we're going to we're gonna try to finish killing that thing, please. Miss. Uh, Alita, I'm so sorry. Some more. Why wow, we need so many freaking mortar shells. Nope. I think we've hit it, what, twice maybe? I don't know how much. Maybe just one time brought it there? But I suspect it's more than one hit, so I suspect we need more than one to kill it, but maybe not. Oh my god. There's everything else we can just tear down kind of by hand here. As soon as that's done. Fabrication. Good. Um, I'm going to go straight to advanced fabrication. I mean, unless... Do we just give you a peg leg? Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to cancel this. I'll just give you a peg leg for now. Right leg, right leg, confirm. Okay. We'll give you a peg leg for now, and we'll give you a, a full bionic, not just a prosthetic. Because I think a prosthetic is less than... 100% movement, and a bionic has more than 100%. Could you maybe actually land another hit here? Rare thrombos. 
It's tempting, but I don't think so. Because I'm bad at kiting. It's really tempting, though. Have you really not landed another hit on that stupid thing? Oh my god. I mean, it's got a minimum range. We could just come in from the south. Maybe I can just do that. Someone have a increased movement speed? I suspect the answer is no. I don't even have it listed here. Uh, stat. Move speed. I guess the, the US does vary. Turner's very... Oh, Turner does actually have go frenzy right now. Okay. Then it's going to be you, buddy. Eat your meal. All right. Since you can't hit the broadside of a barn with a mortar, at least we can do it this way. One, two, three. I think the distance is about the same. So you need to rush to here. Okay, good. What we're going to do is I'm going to expand the home zone over here for firefighting purposes. I'm going to remove any restrictions on anyone. Just reset them so that they evaluate firefighting immediately. I guess this thing's still got to be shot. It can't be deconstructed. Okay. No one's coming for firefighting? Turner can't do it all on his own. Okay. Doc, he's going to be busy for a sec. Turner, I'm going to still use you for this. Must available. Polite prisoners. We've got room for prisoners. Six prisoners. Keep in five days. Sick with blood rot. Lucy circuit. I think we do it for honor. What we want are some more awful prisoner beds. There you go. Damp is our worth constructor with a skill of zero. Might botch a few times. Why are you unloading your inventory? Come over here. We might botch a few times, but we want the worst possible bed so that people spend the most amount of time just sleeping. Come on. Thank you. There we go. So now this can be deconstructed. Okay. And now I'm less worried about maybe starting another raid. Like me going out on a caravan, rather. Damp, what are you up to? Okay, yeah, you're hauling to bed. Good. No, you're doing all the hauling and not actually any of the finishing. Sure, fine. I mean, we don't need this many beds. I'm like, I may as well fill it up. Yes, it'll be less great for them. But this is going to be okay. Feeding survival meal. Why package survival meal? Why wouldn't you feed them a simple meal? I thought survival meals were the last thing they ate. Uh, well, nutrient paste is, is later, but maybe it's different because they're sick? It was a weird proximity thing. Um, no, dude, don't go build a fence. Also... What fence were you building? Oh, this over here. No. It's weird. I had deconstruction on those fence, and then the boomalope blew up, or the fire came in, and so prompted a reconstruction? That's a little odd. It's going to take Damp a while to build this, uh, because low construction skill and building with stone is slow. But yeah, we want low comfort beds so that prisoners have to spend more time sleeping, and less time plotting a breakout. Deconstruction ship chunk. Constructing is higher priority than deconstructing, isn't it? Normally seems to be the case. You're due for sleep soon, but... Right, go to rest. We'll get back to you after that. I don't want to have to micromanage you. These thrombos. I mean, I really should be hunting them, but... Lead is sick from the anesthesia. You got your peg leg for now. 
Are you still the candidate for us to um, make into royalty? Yeah, sure. Man, you got a lot of growth tiers. There you go. Very, very, very close to leveling up. Maybe, maybe since we are so close, I will wait to confirm that we can get, say, social skill, which I want for a leadership type position. Need some cleaning. That's Alita's job. And if we take a look at damp, see, why are you deconstructing? I guess I can just cancel that for now so that you don't end up doing that again. But I'm honestly confused because I really thought constructing was higher priority. Maybe, maybe one of my mods is tweaking things. Wouldn't be the first time. Done. Yeah, you can play chess. You need some recreation. I do wish I'd gotten that telescope. But, yeah. So, the better our prisoner room is, the easier it is to recruit them. And the worse it is, the easier it is to convert them. This is this is going to be a pretty crummy room, and it's not really what I was hope, uh, hunting for, but... I can view art, too. And then go and have a nap. Yeah, all right, that's fine. That's fair. But yeah, I'm going to accept that prisoner quest. However, with that many prisoners to babysit, I'm going to be much more concerned about maybe going out on the world map. Sky dreaming. I don't like that you go so far away for that. I mean, I can put restrictions on the kid, but. Okay, Alita, you are. Yeah, okay, no, you still have the anesthetics. So we're still not getting the accurate stats, but peg leg is, yeah, 60% efficient. It's only one of them. So I think you're going to be you're at a moving of 80% once the anesthesia wears off, which is far from ideal, but we'll get you a better replacement later on. Maybe prosthetics is 100% base. But yeah, we'll try to wait until bionics. I think bionics might need advanced components, though. I did get fabrications. We can build a fabrication bench. So let's get that in place. Not enough steel, not enough components. And that is accurate. And I don't... Th we can get some from deconstructing. But yeah, I don't think we have any more components to mine on the map. Hmm, that's tricky. An eclipse doesn't really do anything for us. We don't have solar power, so we're not bothered by that. Damn. What the hell, dude? Why are you deconstructing so much faster? Also, hold on. I'm going to do this. But I'm going to restrict damp to um, our home area here, which... That was never home area? That's weird. Also this. I think that was for some firefighting. You know, I know it's kind of unnecessary, but... At the same time, I don't want people to have a big debuff from... Having terrible surroundings when they're trying to fight. So I will home zone that area. And over here. Jeez. Alright. I think it's looking alright now. Actually, I think the mortar needs that for some maintenance. New lovers, Turner and Griffin. Okay, well, let's assign them to this. We're not going to give them their own room right now. Uh, Turner... Griffin. That was quick. One of the prisoners. All right. Um, I think I'm going to no longer try for babies. I'm going to put avoid pregnancy. We might still get it, you know, because we're not actually sterilizing people. But we're going to slow it down a bit. We've already got two kids. We don't want to overload our colony with just children, even though like, they're, they're going to have great potential going forward, but it's going to be rough to start. What are you doing, Damp? Are you doing something else stupid that I don't want you doing? You're viewing art right now. And then you'll probably go to sleep. All right, that is fair and legit, I guess. Age up. Age up, Alita. Chaplain cast abilities again. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything, although... Oh, wow, we got lots of festivals ready. Hopefully we can get some adults this time. 
Yet I might want to spread these out so that I can spread out the debuff, but on the other hand, I don't want to delay maybe recruiting someone else who's, you know, strong and useful. We definitely have the capacity to support more people if they're halfway good. Akiko has joined. All right, let's see what your deal is. Akiko? Scar? Cannibal Fast Walker. Well, Cannibal's not going to be a problem. Eh, it's going to be fine. Fast Walker is great. Good combat skill. Pretty good at social too. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to keep you. We'll have Doc still do the wardening job. Cannibal Cook, sure. Um, we probably want to have one of these two be the primary cook and get the max skill. Kiko really, the Kiko currently has a lower skill, but they really don't do anything else. Whereas Cameron is going to spend some amount of time doing growing. In fact, what I'm going to do with Cameron, I might leave the cook on, but I will put it lower priority than the grow. If there's anything to, to harvest or whatever, do that first. And then hopefully Akiko will actually generate some more skill. I think it might be time to increase our food limit again, because we had we had put it to 30, but we dropped again when we lost some people. Oh, I didn't realize the fine meals are suspended. Let's turn those back on. See something I try to keep 40 fine meals around and the 20 as a buffer afterwards is going to be fine. We don't need a tremendous amount of survival meals because I think if we are going to send out some people, it'll be a fairly small pack. Plus, we've got some pemmican for now. Okay. Unfair. Got a decent boost. What we need is more clothing. That's where we're kind of hurting. We'd like more of the Devil Strand, but um, I guess I could set up a second greenhouse. It wouldn't be on uh, fertile ground. to start tearing some stuff down or greenhouse some of this area. There's a fertile area way over there. The thing is, it actually might be fine for something like Devil Strand, but because it needs so little attention, it's got such a long growing period, we're not gonna have to make regular trips out there. So that's actually kind of tempting. Amp, what are you doing now? You're, yeah. I mean, that is home zone, I'll give you that, but. Finish this. As soon as we have six beds, I can accept the mission. Although, yeah, I want all these to be as shitty as possible. It's just annoying because it's such a long job, so it really needs some babysitting. Your construction's gotten up to two. You, you actually made a good quality bed. I'm kind of bothered and offended, but sure. Hey, what? I'll flag that one for medical. I don't sleep in it from day to day, generally speaking. Exotic goods trader. Well, uh, wait. Oh, is this a caravan? Oh yeah, okay. Thought it was a trade ship. I got damp. Like, didn't finish this job, and then started working on the next one. Even though I had just like chain queued them. I don't. I wonder what happened to cause that. Look again, Damp is like... Stop that and start it over here. Oh, there, I was gonna say, why is this one a different color? Right, medical bed. Okay, that's done now. So a couple of things. First of all, Damp, you're no longer in construction. Turner's gonna go back on that. And you are no longer restricted to just home. We can open this up. So now you can go and do normal jobs once again. And it's so honor plus six. Do I wait for Alita? The growth should happen soon. Okay, we need more components so we can make our fabrication bench. So then we can make components forever. So we're gonna sell a bunch of statues. There we go. What else? I'm tempted to maybe sell some animals just to build up a little bit of silver here. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This cow's not pregnant. It would be the next one on the butcher block. So I'm gonna sell that. And 29 year old dromedary. I'll sell you as well. You probably won't be along, around that long. 
So I'm buying all your regular components. I was going to say something about storing up silver, but actually... Buy one advanced component? And some plasteel? I think that's correct. Again, tech friends and gene packs would be nice. But I think this is a good way to go. Okay, once again, we can deconstruct these ship chunks. This is going to be Turner now. Doing construction much faster. And yeah, working on the fabrication bench right away. Please do. Do I need a door over here? No, I do have one. Well, maybe because of the river they're pathing around because it's faster. Yeah, okay. You need more hauling to happen. Like, Alita, what are you when you're cleaning dirt? You do clean as a higher priority than haul. So maybe that's legit. And again, reminds me though, is it time to get the mechanoids? Well, I think what we need to do is get the fabrication bench up first to secure our component fabrication, and then we'll be able to support having mechanoids. One heal hauler bot, one cleaning bot for when Alita comes of age. I guess right now life can help with the uh, the cleaning, the hauling and cleaning, which is nice. Actually, I guess I never set up your rules here. Yeah, we can... Here, I'll do that. So you actually do haul before you clean, because that's going to be appreciated. You have to put a cut in here, but I kind of... Okay, there we go. Turner has finished constructing this. Beautiful. So we'll put in a job, do until X, where X is going to be, I don't know, 20 components. That's usually what I said. I don't think anything needs quite that many, but... When we use components, it does go pretty quick, so I think a little bit of a buffer is not a terrible idea. So we'll have that job in there. You only need 12 steel to make a component. Is that true? I don't have a mod that's altering this. No, I'm sure... I, no. No. I have tweaks galore, which I think might technically be able to do it somewhere, but... Oh yeah, we're gonna have this. This doesn't matter. These are settings from like previous games. That's actually... I don't think we've had an insulting spree. Um... Oh yeah, I do like that on because this lets me just move things around. Things that can't normally be moved. You just deconstruct and rebuild them. You get your stuff back. It's like the IKEA furniture argument, which I'm gonna stick with. But yeah, I don't think I have anything that changes the component cost. Is it really that cheap? Did it used to be a lot more? I mean, I gotta go and put a cut in here, but... Hmm, I'm delaying because it's my last recording of this for the day, and I don't want it to end! I like RimWorld too much. Oh, but I guess I gotta. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye-bye!